Alright, what's up, what's going on guys, it's your boy Chumbles, and I'm back this time playing some AP Nidalee top lane. Actually, not really AP, but you guys have probably seen this build from me before, um, I'm almost 100% sure you have. I've kind of deemed this the best overall build for top lane Nidalee right now, and it's more of an AP bruiser build. And yeah, I'm just gonna quickly go over the runes and all that good stuff because people usually ask me, so. Uh. Okay, well, yes, I was in this bush, so. I'm gonna place a trap here. I hit him. Well, we won that trade. <laughs> so yeah, our runes is Grasp, Demolish, Bone Plating, Overgrowth, Transcendence, and Gathering. Um, pretty, pretty decent stuff. I guess it's all kind of like... Kind of standard-ish. Except maybe Transcendence. Reason for that is the CDR that you gain... Um, <clears throat> is really good, the 10%. Nearly is a champ that definitely uses cooldown reduction. There are some champs in the game that, you know, kind of don't need it, but nearly ain't one of them. Especially with this CDR nerfs that she received a long time ago. Let's try and get... Grass proc? No, damn. Oh, his entire range there, seriously. Come on, bro. But yeah, we also are taking attack speed runes, uh, adaptive, and then some armor. All pretty standard stuff, in my opinion. It's actually gone back. So yeah, this is kind of the best build in my opinion right now. Mostly because it's like, it's really standardized. And like, it's... The way the build is set up is... Pretty much so that you can... Um, You can fight, like, basically anybody, so it doesn't really matter who's in the lane, you guys can fight them regardless. Whereas if you go, like, the Triforce, like, on-hit kind of build, I feel like if you get behind, you're just useless. Whereas this build, because you are running a lot of AP, you're getting tanky stats. You're this AP bruiser, you also become useful late game because of your healing on to 80 carries and we all know that the ADCs right now are broken so yeah if you get those uh, juicy heals going especially when you get Athenes for your like fifth item or whatever you just become super good late game whereas with other builds, late game is where you are weak, right? Like, that's that's your weak spot in the game. Okay. Uh, this guy's dead. Goodbye. I'm just gonna let it freeze right here. But yeah, this game is gonna be more, I guess, informational than usual. So I'm not gonna make any edits. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Next one, there probably will be. Also, I will be posting the ultimate guide, I think, Saturday, hopefully. 
this Saturday or Sunday. So if you are hyped for that, make sure to hit the like button so I know. Because if not, then maybe I just don't post it and it's no point in having it, right? But I think with changes coming to the game, Nilly will be at least a little better than she is right now. So hopefully that will hopefully that will impact her. Hopefully, you know. Can only hope at this rate. Oh yeah, she does. Nice. Okay, well, we are, like, two levels up on this guy, so... Uh... Yeah, I don't know about that one. Back, 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 back. Go! Recall fast! Run! Okay, I'm out. Zed was coming top lane there. So the build is going to go Iceborne. Again, kind of standard stuff going on there. And then we will go into the Ludens Echo. It's actually not. I don't know if I have the page here, actually. Uh, yeah, this is all, like, old stuff. Oh wait, is this one? Oh yeah, this has like most of the items there. But yeah, I knew this guy was just, he couldn't really win that trade because he was two levels down. So just playing to, to my advantages there, kind of simple stuff, nothing too impressive about that. Wait, what? I didn't actually cue that? Wow. <laughs> what? What does that even mean? I think this guy's had enough of this. His mental has boomed. Oh my god, he got popped. That guy got absolutely deleted. I've healed up. Oh, man. Oh, that's all good. Got the double kill. I'll take it. TP back here. I'll get most of this wave, too. We got boots. Always hold the directed camera, because... For whatever reason, it doesn't, like, stay there when... really think it should. Uh, what the? Okay. So this guy's nothing right now. Like, if he hits, if he uh, gets hit by one of my spears, I will basically blow him up. Just gotta be careful for the Rengar and Zed. I think at this point. This guy isn't doing anything. Nice. Got my eight, uh, my eight AP. That's good. We gotta take down his ward here. 
Is there a red trinket? I'll drop the ward here. I'm not sure where Rengar is. He has tier 2 boots right now. What the hell? I didn't even notice he had two of them. He's not even bothering to dodge the spears at this point. He's just, he's just gonna try and wind wall them all, I guess. Which is fine with me, considering... It's just worse for him. I don't know why he's just... Keeps placing those, like... I guess I'll take the free 60 gold. Oh. Auto? Uh oh. Nah, couldn't do anything there. Grab tabbies. This game, they have just all AD, so I'm not gonna bother. If I get hit with CC, I get hit with CC. Like at this point, it's literally all about the armor right now. I'm gonna switch back here. So yeah, we have the we have the 20% um, from Iceborne. Yeah, I love this tower now. Hmm. Wait, he sells ulti? Okay, that's my bad. I didn't know he had ult still. Mm. Damn, dude. If he didn't have ult, I could've killed him. That ulti did a lot of damage to me, plus blocked a lot of my damage. That sucks. That's just having a worse mid laner, to be honest. Wait, he had TP? Oh my god. What? Why wouldn't he just TP top? I didn't know he had TP. To be honest, this game's probably over just because of bot lane, but regardless, like, even if it wasn't, Having like something like a Kale bot lane, I literally just have to press E on him once I have uh once I have my like Grail, then he just literally can't do anything. Or the other team can't do anything. Because I'm gonna give him a bunch of attack speed. Plus I'll be giving him a massive heal. So What the hell? Okay, that's a bug. That is one hundred percent a bug. My auto attack like stopped and then it just literally, <laughs> like I couldn't even attack anything else. I had to wait. What? Okay, he must be a new player, I guess. Or something, I don't know. Reading items, what items are you reading, man? Maybe he's reading this? Not sure what exactly he'd be reading. Okay. Actually, let's just keep pushing this. Yes, what was not here, it seems like. Nice pickup, nice pickup. Yeah, so he, he's like, I ain't even gonna try to dodge. 
Ah, his passive up. I'm not gonna bother with that. Let's see if this is up. Yep. Okay. Classic. That is my red. God damn, this guy is fucking fed as fuck. Holy shit. Well, that's unlucky. I have so much armor, too. 146 armor. And I still eat shit. Feels bad, man. They should just keep buffing Zed, I think. I don't think he's actually strong enough right now. I think, uh... I think the past, like, four buffs or whatever <laughs> weren't enough. They should, uh... They should put more damage on his Q. And then add his death mark to... Give it AD again. That bonus AD. <sighs> but it's not buff Nidalee at all. It's not even lower her cooldowns. That'd be ridiculous. Let me... Well, it. What? Are you kidding? How do I not go through that? Okay. We can easily kill these guys. There's only one cat that's gonna stand at the top. Oh, dude. Where's our mid laner? Like, what? Where's our Togat dude? Look how far up they are. We even have our ball in here. This guy just rotates. We, I think we just end the game, basically. Kale's almost 11, too, probably. If I'm 11, yeah, he's probably, like, a wave or two off. What? Huh? He just used Q and Polymorph. I guess that's another Z buff they added. They abilities just don't affect them anymore. Listen, bro, they can have that. I'm not going to try and 1v2 that. That'd be stupid. take this and then I'll kill him. Just like that. Zed's probably coming bot lane because he literally just sits in the lane that I'm in. So we're gonna back up here. Wait, is this guy so stupid? Zed isn't even here? What? Wait, she might... I think she's just gonna go right here. Oh, I'm dead. They had everything. Rip. <clears throat> Soul shekels her. 
ulti, right? I think they can win this. Troyos just has to int into them and then have kill. Just auto them down. Oh, she's not 11 yet. Oh, I thought she got 11 off top lane. Well, we have Ludens. We are at our power spike moment of power. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. And next, we are going to build Zonia's. So what's good about this, like, Bruiser build, is I can afford to build Zonia's without feeling bad about it. And I can build, like, other stuff. So, like, Abyssal Mask, um, the Athenes, like I mentioned. It's just a whole bunch of really, really good stuff. And you just do a lot of damage. I think it's like the combination of having like Iceborne makes you good enough versus the Bruisers and then the AP just obviously makes your whole kit better like that's you scale off AP right so just everything else you do is just better. Neat. Uh. Oh wait, now he might be able to kill me. Let's just heal up here. Getting hit by that second Q almost got me killed. Uh, he has shield up again. He doesn't have ulti though, so I'm just gonna fight him. I also have 40% CDR, so... Got him. And that's the power of the 40% CDR right there, dude. That right there. Just too strong. Now I'm going to pick up that. Also, I've been doing... I didn't even mention this. I've been doing the uh, Dorn's Ring and Dorn's Blade kind of build. Because the Dorn's Blade, I feel like, is just way better early. Like, your first like few levels, like, to level 4. And then... Um... Dorn's ring if you don't get ahead, like if you can't buy your sheen on your first back, but you can afford Dorn's ring, then Dorn's ring's probably the best item that you can get since it, like everything about the item is just good on Nidalee and then it helps you helps you get to your items a little bit faster, like your uh, sheen, like you don't feel bad about buying it essentially. What the? There's a cat here. There was a cat here. Oh. See, like, look at that damage that I just did. With the... With the amount of stuff that I have. It's pretty good. And then once I have Zonia's, like, I can just go in, die freely. I have even more armor. Oh my god, that actually didn't kill him. Okay. Uh, well, that's unfortunate, but all good. No! I just guessed wrong. Feels bad. Oh, that pop there, boys. Goodbye. See, after Zanya's, I'd probably just get a Fiends at this point.
I think we can fight this maybe. Maybe not. What? Oh my god, that the directed at champs or whatever actually just got me screwed there. But this build is so strong that uh I just won V3, I guess. Oh my god, I need to change that, dude. That is so bad. It's a good thing I did this build, because any other build that wouldn't have worked at all. <clears throat> well, at least that gets to display the power of this build. <laughs> at the very least. Um, and yeah, let's grab Athenes now. So we have 2k HP which only goes up because we have overgrowth plus grasp and then we also have um oh never mind i was gonna say and then last we'd probably get abyssal mask because we have so much ap and stuff so everything kind of just works together ultimate guide will be coming out soon so make sure you hit the like button on this video also like comment and subscribe if you guys already haven't and hopefully i will see you guys in the next one have a great day peace